Welcome to our tutorial. This video will demonstrate how the optimization feature in Savoir Multi-Satellite Swath Planner tries to solve a general problem in scheduling acquisitions of satellites over areas of interest. There is a common interest in reducing the amount of acquisitions, firstly because these cost money, but also in order to free satellite resources so that other areas of interest can be covered as well. Hence, one should do as few acquisitions as possible. Let's begin. First, let's create an area of interest in the Indian Ocean. I'm going to zoom in on the map of the world a little bit and then Areas of Interest button here and selecting a polygon as a tool to work with. I'm now going to place my area here and the moment that I give it the OK, I know that it is being recorded in the Areas of Interest pane. I will then select the Deimos-1 Slim 6 sensor from the Satellites pane here. So Deimos-1, activate the plus sign, plus sign of the sensors and selecting my sensor. I will then choose a period of time in the calendar, up here, of about, let's say, three weeks. And when I press the refresh button here, I then obtain all the potential acquisitions for that period of time, as you can see. However, this is an overkill and a waste of resources as there are many overlapping acquisitions that are not necessary. So we want to minimize as much as possible the number of acquisitions needed to cover this area of interest. If I go to the Gantt view here, I see the timeline of acquisitions displayed. There is a nice feature that I can use called cumulative coverage. I'm going to place my cursor on the sensor here and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to select the cumulative submenu percent cover. By selecting this feature I see the time it takes to fully cover the area. I can see that the area is covered almost three times during the three week period. You may ask yourself, can I reduce the number of acquisitions rather than taking all the potential ones, or can I do only one coverage rather than all of these additional ones? So I then move back to the map here, and I go to the Tools menu up here, where I select the Optimize option. When I do so, a dialog window opens up. As you can see, the option was disabled by default, but I'm going to choose Optimize All. I'm going to leave the other options with the default values, the only exception being that I will raise the target percentage from 98 by default to 100%, so that I get really 100% of the area covered. I click on the OK, and I see that here on the map it now says Optimization On. I then press the refresh button here once again and now I obtain a new result with much fewer acquisitions than before as you can see here. If I go back to the Gantt view I see that the timeline is indeed much shorter than before and when I use the cumulative option once more by right clicking again I see that I obtain 100% coverage in about six days. This demonstrates the basic functionality and purpose of the optimization function. Now I would like to show you how this function works with multiple satellites. So I go back to the map view once more and now I'm going to select another satellite. This time the UK DMC2 satellite. So again by clicking on the plus sign to activate the sensors and choosing the sensor which is the same as the sensor on the Deimos-1 satellite. So I now cover my area of interest with a multi-satellite configuration as you can see and I obtain a similar result but this time the acquisitions are displayed in two different colors on the map corresponding to the two satellites and sensors. If I go back to the Gantt display I can show the cumulative coverage this time for both sensors by right clicking on the area name but first I'm going to place my cursor here. I'm going to give it group by areas of interest this time and then once again right clicking, selecting cumulative percent cover and as you can see I obtain 
a reduced period of four days to have my 100% coverage of the area. There are other options in the optimization function which also may be useful. So going back to the map view once more, and then to the tools menu again, opening up my dialog window, I see that the dialog window gives me the possibility to select different options, such as the maximum number of coverages per time period here, as well as the time period itself here. Also, you can select how the algorithm chooses the viewing angle for steerable sensors from this position here by giving it max area to maximize the area covered or minimizing the observation zenith angle. And one last interesting aspect of optimization is found here, and it's optimized per area of interest. This mode is used when multiple areas of interest are to be covered. Different optimization options can be set for each of the areas, but this mode is more advanced and will therefore be covered in yet another video. So that is all regarding optimization of acquisition scheduling in Savoir. Thank you for your attention.